Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you two methods to create progress bars in Microsoft Excel. Method number one, let's say you have a list of tasks and their percentages of completion like this. Let's create progress bars for each of these items in column C. First, copy each progress value to column C using the equal sign like this. Then select these values in column C and go to conditional formatting, data bars, and select more rules. Under the rule type list, make sure the format all cells based on their values option is selected. Ensure the data bar option is selected as the format style. Select the show bar only checkbox. Select the number type for the minimum and maximum columns. Set the minimum value to 0 to represent 0% and the maximum value to 1 to represent 100%. Customize the bar appearance as desired. Click OK. Change the progress values to see how it works. Method number 2. In this method, I am going to use the repeat function to create progress bars. This method is more customizable than the previous method. The first argument of the repeat function is text. For this, let's use the vertical bar. The second argument is the number of times that we need to repeat the text we selected for the first argument. Let's provide our progress value for this. Since the progress values are in percentages, let's multiply it by 10 to get a number. Press enter. Now you can see there are 7 vertical bars to represent the 75% progress. You can see the number of vertical bars change as you update the progress. But the issue with this is, it will not stop repeating the text after 100%. We can fix this using the min function. Since we multiply the progress value by 10, the 100% progress is represented by the number 10. So, using the min function, we can set the formula to use the number 10 if the progress value is higher than 100%. Now, if you put progress values beyond 100%, it will only print 10 bars. You can also change this to print 100 bars to represent 100%. By changing the color and symbol used for the first argument, you can customize the progress bar to match your design or data. Thank you for watching.